But think that any ideology of supremacy is repulsive in itself, criminal and deadly. However, the Western globalist elites still talk about their exclusivity. They provoke conflicts, they provoke bloody conflicts and coups. They sow seeds of hatred, Russophobia and aggressive nationalism. They destroy traditional family values that make humans humans. They do all this to continue dictating and enforcing their will upon nations, their rules, which is essentially a system of pillage and suppression. They seem to have forgotten what the Nazis' crazy claims for world supremacy brought to. This is the result of the catastrophe that the Ukrainian nation is going through now. They're, they become hostages to a state coup and the criminal regime and their Western supervisors. They became pawns in their cruel plans. To us in Russia, the memory of those who defended our motherland is sacred. We keep it in our hearts. And we pay respects to members of the resistance who bravely fought Nazism. We pay respect to warriors of the Allied armies, the US, the Great Britain, other states. We remember the feats of the warriors of China fighting Japanese militarism. We are sure that, we are sure that the experience of solidarity and cooperation during those years is our priceless legacy, a foundation today when the movement towards a multipolar world based on principles of trust and security and equal opportunities for free development for all countries and nations.